good evening. It's Jager 262 and we're back with something a little bit different. My.com, which is the same company, or parent company rather, that oversees on Report Repair, released Conqueror's Blade, which is this game that you see here. It's a beta test week and I was able to get into the beta test and so I thought I'd play a little bit and get a feel for it. Now, I thought this was going to be a sort of medieval-esque strategy game from the commercials, or not the commercial, the trailers rather, that they've been putting out over the past year or so since they've announced the project. However, it looks like it's more of an MMORPG type game. This is my character. Put the face paint on because it looked great in armor. I didn't actually think that we had characters because I thought it was a strategy game. Again, sort of like Total War Arena. If anybody remembers that from Wargaming. But it's not so far, and so I feel kind of goofy. But right now we're just going to kind of see how it plays. It reminds me a little bit, it has the same look as Black Desert Online, or maybe Terra, or even Elder Scrolls. I never played Elder Scrolls, so I don't know how that UI was. But we'll see how this goes. Don't worry about me. Okay, not gonna worry about Cersei. Yeah, it looks cool, free to play, uh, or at least it's supposed to be free to play when it comes out. Right now, the only way to get you can get the game outside of just beta weekends by purchasing one of the founder packs. I have not, but it's relatively cheap. I don't really remember what the prices are, but it's not expensive. Alright, I always got friends in high places. Really. See, I feel kind of goofy with my face paint now. I look really cool in the armor, just for reference. It no longer looks cool. Uh, let's see, what do I want to... Let's give myself more armor. Yeah, I'll apply points. Alright. Captain, report to Captain Henry to begin your weapon training. Sounds great. So yeah, I mean, it feels like, um, whoa, that was a crazy leap. I'm like, nope, I gotta have to be running. Hold on. Dang, that's crazy. Cool. I mean, that means it's got a physics engine, as it should, right, in all games. Some kind of physics engine. I don't know why I said that. That's fun. Controls feel like any other MMORPG that I've played. A lot of guys named Sigma are on here. Looking pretty cool, but yeah, I'm guessing this is. You can learn how to use weapons and command units. Oh, so maybe it is a strategy game or has a strategy element. Familiarize yourself with different weapons for future use. Put your training as you see fit. Marching in the open world, you can control the camera by moving on the right mouse button. Okay, cool. So there's going to be an open world aspect, also an aspect where you can command units. So this should be 
fun. Fire lock. Let's do that. I'm absolutely cool. Alright, we get guns.
can't reload it off sprint, I gotta figure it out. I don't know why that didn't. At least I'm learning how to dodge. Get that back. weapon in my arsenal. Sounds good to me, sounds right. Not fair, Reaper. 
we'll save this. Oh, I'm supposed to go over to that guy. fun so far, I mean it's pretty basic, um, RPG stuff, I'm having a good time, did I get to keep the gun, of course I did not, oh, I tried, right, I really wanted to learn more about the commanding units part of this game, did I ever lose I leveled up. Thanks, tutorial. Find the Masters at Arms to unlock a new weapon skill. Weapons at Arms guy. I used to train the sons. Oh my god, everybody has the same backstory in this town. Well, I mean, you used to train noble lords. You're upset about it, you shouldn't have become a mercenary then, right? Sort of punk. You can change your hotkey skills. Yep, that one there. Amazing. So, wait, but I can also unlock weapons to you, right? Nice. Musket. Skill points required 100. That costs 100 to unlock every weapon. Alright, that's going to be tough to do, huh? I got a skill point. So I need 100 of these to get a musket. In that case, I'm going to save mine up. Hopefully by the end of this tutorial, I'll have enough to buy as far as I can. Probably gonna be impossible to this tutorial, but I'll try it. For unit training. Ah, sweet, here we go. So let's see what this kind of strategy component entails. Because when they were selling the game, then I started like I was gonna back it and I just got into the beta and alpha waitlist. They were giving away like free cannon units or cavalry, so hopefully we'll get to see some of that. Now, I can send you to distant lands to fight for fame and fortune. Yeah, I'm so ready for that. That's why I became a mercenary.
do. This sucks. I'm sorry, guys. This is gonna be a long wait, I suspect, because everybody in this, um. Oh god, I can't unlock my cursor. We got at least five guys waiting. I meant four. The fifth guy is the Captain Tyler, so it doesn't count. So far, I mean, only doing one tutorial, it seems pretty cool. Like, I'm behind it 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. I really want this to load. Because I'm kind of hoping that it plays like Total War Arena, which was war gaming, the company that took World of Tanks, World of Warships, all those getting collaboration with Total War, the Total War franchise, to make a free-to-play, PvP, small-scale strategy game. So essentially, just like the Total War games, you would command armies based on historical armies, um, and you would have, instead of controlling the entire army yourself, like in Total War, you would control units. So that would be like your classes or your tanks, if you played Armored Warfare, World of Tanks, you know, you have tank destroyers, um, heavy tanks, light tanks, and battle tanks, all that kind of stuff. And so you would get different units, like you would get cavalry, and then you would be the cavalry guy, and then their team of, I think it was three or five players, would be the other units. And together, you'd make up one army, and then attack the opposing army. It was actually really cool. That game did not do so well, it was around for about two years, and then I don't know what happened, but they just pulled it and collapsed it, so when I heard that the armor, I was going to say armor board, but when I heard that my.com was making a similar game, a little bit like a similar game, I was super excited. So I'm hoping it plays just like that, because then you get not only a great game that's strategy based in PvP, but it comes with the added bonus of coupling that with an RPG experience so you can actually build your character personally and do quests and do fantasy stuff like that and then jump into more strategy based stuff later on. That sounds super cool. I'm really into these kinds of games but I've played a bunch when I played a bunch but not a whole lot, if that makes sense. So, like, I'll get to about... I'll grind a character up to, like, the mid-20s of a level, and then, you know, that's about it. I just played enough to get a feel for it. I enjoy it. My most played one right now is Terra. Like I said, I did Terra, um... Black Desert Online, Lord of the Rings Online. Games like that. Oh. Well, no, yeah, those are the three I remember off the top of my head, but I played more. Um, and then I've played games that sorta RPG, sort of like a uh, looter shooter quest stuff, like Warframe or Dauntless or Breach. Also fun games, all of them. Very cool, so... This looks like it'll be, it'll have elements of those traditional RPGs, but be more suited for broader, uh, in terms of just actual broader gameplay because of the strategy aspect, but just broader in the sense that we'll have more of the UA with weapons, skill points, and now looking at the weapons and skill points that I've seen so far, it doesn't look like it's any more special than other ones. But, I'll never know because this is just not going to load. It's frozen, which is understandable because it's a beta. Before I actually got into this tutorial, I had opened it and it crashed and I opened it and it froze. So... It's just some technical difficulties on the American server, is the one I'm playing on. And that's infected with a beta. 
So this might be the end of this video for now. If we can get it working, I'll add more to it when I get back on this and start recording again. But we'll see. So far, first impressions are neither good or bad. I like it, but I've only played through one real tutorial mission. So that's... It feels like any other MMORPG at this point. Looks good. Sounds good. Uh, hoping, hoping I'll be able to get it to work later. If not, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, just in case, though. <laughs> All right.